miss you. How did that feel tonight? It feels good. It feels great. Uh, especially uh, get the win like this against the Miami. Uh, they played all the team. They they had almost full roster in, uh, except Oladipo. Uh, and then we know the way that they play. They play hard. They play good defense. And then uh, they try to be aggressive all night. So that's why I think today we had a huge victory. You heard what I asked about Tyrese. What makes him different from other young players that you play with? I think he's not afraid of taking the responsibility. Uh, but like Doc says every time, responsibility responsibility, I mean, freedoms bring responsibility. You know, I think Tyrese knows that, and then he enjoys that. There's not a lot of players who enjoys that much. Uh, you can see he's having fun on the court. Like, he's running around, you know, trying to make the shots, trying to make the play. And he likes to play with the crowd, too. You know, I think that's what uh, gets him going. Uh, I think Philly is a perfect spot for him. Shake, what kind of uh, this led to your success tonight? Uh... I think being involved and uh, just trying to be aggressive. Um, I knew we had a couple guys who weren't playing, so um, really just trying to you know get in there and be aggressive, whether it be for myself or for my teammates. Uh, just but did the opportunity just to kind of allow you to get going, like you said, because just I was looking at you didn't take a shot for three straight games, so then kind of realize like, hey, this is an opportunity for me to kind of help my team out before. Uh, yeah, um, like I said, it just I knew. Who wasn't playing, and I, you know, I mean, I knew um, I would have more of an opportunity tonight. So I just tried to um, be ready and locked in before the game, and take the, you know, most of the opportunity. For, for you, it was just a matter of, I you know it's a cliche, but like seeing the ball go in a mm-hmm. couple times that got you, you rolling in a good rhythm tonight. Yeah, that feels great. You know, I'm happy about it because I need it. Uh, I needed to get this run, uh, but like. Instead of, uh, I mean, losing yesterday, coming today, we have like two our, our superstars out. So I think uh, as a team, we send that message. We set the tone from the beginning, and then I was also uh, when I get in the game, I didn't be, I was not shy. I just go out there and then try to play aggressive, and then I think uh, we did a great job. Shake, it seemed like you guys, uh, you guys found something where you were able to get to the rim, and they looked like. Your doc kept calling the same action you kept doing, and you kept getting in, you know, in the basket area. Uh, I guess you're just rewarded for, you know, attacking um, and, and going, going to the back, going to the rim. Yeah, we uh, well, we just kind of found a matchup that we liked, and uh, once it worked a couple of times, we just kept going that way. And um, I mean, it didn't matter if they were switching or not. We had guys um, Reese and Tobias also who were able to take advantage of it. So. Um, yeah, if we find something that works, we're going to keep going at it until they stop it. So that's kind of what happened. Who did the one of you um, to have so many people chip in at key times tonight? How special is a game like this one? Asking me? Go ahead. Your English is better. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, you, <laughs> you said it. one more time. <laughs> So many guys go so well tonight at key times, the way you guys had tonight. How special was a game like this one? Yeah, I mean, I think it's big because everybody had to step up. Um, uh, you know, you never really know what the game's going to throw at you, you know, who's going to be down, who's going to be up, who's going to be playing, who's not. So um, I think for all of us to just, you know, myself, for everybody on the bench, and then, you know, George stepping up in the starting role, um, Sap coming in. I mean, everybody just tried to chip in and, and do a little something to help the team win. So. Um, I think that's our mentality, and that's kind of been our mentality the whole season. It doesn't matter who we have. It's all about those guys in the locker room. But for both of you guys, was this more like one of these games, like, I'm still here? Like, you know what I mean? I'm still that guy that you guys can depend upon to come in there and knock down shots and, and do certain things. Definitely. As a player, if we don't have the mentality, you know, we are not going to be uh, in the stage in NBA or in other leagues because you got to be competitive. And then that was our mindset, uh, especially second half of the season. Uh, uh, it's like two of us, uh, you know, there's a couple more guys. Uh, we've been struggling. Sometimes we play a lot of minutes. Like we don't play. We play different roles. That's why it was uh, huge for for us uh, to get it going, to see ball going in. Um, and also in the future, we're gonna still uh, remind ourselves too, like we are good players, and then uh, we we need to show this to the people. And then that was uh, one of these days today. Can you comment on that? Yeah, um, I mean, 
Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you want to be the best teammate you can be, but you're also a human being at the end of the day, too. You know, you want to play, you want to be out there helping the team win. So um, definitely getting an opportunity to play this many minutes again, and, you know, your eyes kind of light up, and you definitely look forward to trying to take advantage of that opportunity. You guys talk to each other about this kind of the last couple of weeks and, you know, <laughs> lean on each other because you guys sort of have gone through a similar thing over the, over the last few weeks, I guess. Yeah, we do, we do. Like, we share things because we've been going through the uh, same things. Also, we've been teammates for a long time, you know. But most of the times, like, when we are not on the court, uh, we don't want to talk about the basketball every time because we want to stay away from it. Just when we are on the court, we just work hard. But when we go home, we just wanted to let it go because, like, you are getting lost when you start thinking too much. But when the time comes, we talk, we share. Çok zor bir dönem geçti. Hani son birkaç hafta böyle bir 18 sayılık akşam böyle rahatlık böyle veriyor mu sana? Yani rahatlık değil bu aslında benim işim bunu her gece yapmam gerekiyor. Süre aldığım her gece bunu göstermem gerekiyor. Bugün James'in oynamayacağını bildiğim için biraz daha süre alacağımın farkındaydım. Benim için bence ciddi bir sınavdı. Ama oynamadığım dönemlerde eve gidip ağlamadım. Tam tersi sahaya gidip daha çok çalıştım. Onunla karşılığını aldım bugün. No, I'm lost. Two more guns. Joel was emoting really heavily for you guys in the fourth quarter, um, and maybe showing a little bit more emotion than we're accustomed to seeing from Joel. You guys have both played your entire careers with him. Where do you think he's changed the most? I just think I think he's just grown, just with his demeanor uh, regarding you know his teammates, the way he interacts with us now. Um, I, I've just definitely, it's crazy. I've seen the growth too. And like, he's got to be MVP. I mean, I've, I've seen it like, you know what I mean? Like for four years. So it's just been a crazy evolution of his game and um, just his leadership in the locker room too. Is that something you're comfortable sharing as far as maybe how his demeanor has changed in interacting with teammates or an example you can share? I just think he's more inclusive. Like he's just, you know, he's not afraid to reach out and grab the, you know, I mean, the two ways or the guys who don't play a lot in the same way he'll grab, you know, uh, Tobias or James or anybody like that. He just, it's almost like he's more inclusive. And how do you think Joel has changed? I think, uh, I mean, he's a father now, you know. I think that's the biggest change in his life. So that makes him even more mature. Uh, like, he's not a kid anymore. He's an old, grown man. Uh, like I said, he's a father, you know, because I... I uh, got the chance to meet him like five years ago. Five years is a long time. And we all grow up. And then, like I said, he has a kid now. So that's the biggest change he has. And then you can also see this change on the court, too, as a mentality that he has. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much.